Welcome back. And today we're gonna to review the uncured pepperoni rising crust from Good and Gathered. This is the Target brand. So if you enjoy my videos, make sure to leave a like. We're at 13 subscribers right now. And this is how much it cost. Cost $6.39. This is like the only rising crust they have. And it's like differently labeled. The other one has like a black label on it. So, and it kind of looks a little different. Like this doesn't look like it's stone fired or, you know, fire roasted or whatever the other ones are. But let's see what it looks like. This pizza was frozen, but it defrosted. So because of that, you got to adjust the cook time. Yeah, it's definitely, that's what it looks like. Yeah, they recommend you to have it frozen. But I don't have a freezer. Just have this mini fridge. It looks good already. I'm not a fan like of thick crust pizza, but see if this is any good. I like like the other ones, like the margarita, that has like a thin enough crust. But this one's supposed to rise and stuff. So I guess it's not all the way cooked. The other pizzas, they're like cooked all the way. I mean, you can see that there's like a little, little char on the crust from when it's cooked. And yeah, this one's like raw. So it says preheat the oven for 425. Yeah, this is, whoa, this is so soft. And yeah, this is one of those you definitely want to keep frozen because it's like, hopefully it doesn't like fall through the grate. Perfect time. <laughs> Perfect time to get a phone call. I'm not even sure how I'm gonna put this in. Yeah, I mean, this is what it looks like. It's how am I gonna put this in? Maybe I'm gonna take it out more. Yeah, <laughs> don't defrost this. Wow. And this is something you don't want to defrost. But it went in all right. All right, so this is the cooking instructions. 19 to 23 minutes. All right, the pizza's been in there only for about 13 minutes because it was defrosted. I don't want to cook it any longer than this. It's just looking pretty well done. All right, this is what it looks like. Looks good. We'll see if it tastes good. Does look good. 
it's steaming hot, of course. No, I'm going to wait. <laughs> I, I definitely want to burn myself. All right. Hopefully the pizza has cooled off enough. The sauce is really sweet. That's the first thing you taste. But there's a lot of crust. Look at this. Already not liking the amount of crust. Like, it's a lot of crust. Of course, it's still hot. But the sauce is really sweet. Pepperoni is good, of course. The cheese. It's a cheese blend. They say on the box somewhere. So, uh, so. Mm, can't read up so now. So it's mozzarella, parmesan, romano. I'm going to try just the crust by itself. I mean, if you're a fan of um, pizzas with a lot of crust, this is definitely for you. I mean, the crust is good. It's um very airy. Yeah, the crust is, I mean, if you're a fan of crust, this is a good crust. But it's so much. Like, I don't like pizza with this much crust. Because I feel like you need a dipping sauce with this much crust. Yeah, but the crust is good. And it's so hot. Still hot. But the sauce is good, the cheese is good. Well priced at six um thirty something. But don't defrost it. <laughs> Cause pizza might have to might fall through. I have to rotate it. So um so one fall through. Like one side is kinda leaning. So hot. I waited like five minutes. It's still hot. Yeah, all the ingredients are good. I mean, look at the steam. But this is overall great. They don't have any pizzas with more toppings, just pepperoni. Pepperoni or cheese of this version. Uh, let me try the sauce just by itself. Tastes like a tomato sauce, but with a lot more uh, sugar. But it's good. I mean, it has, it has some flavor, yeah. It's not just, just tomato sauce plus. Yeah, it tastes like a pizza sauce. Uh, I can't really taste anything in, in the sauce, but. But it's pretty good. That's yeah, a really good pizza sauce. What am I tasting? Taste tomato and sweetness. I can't really pick anything out. Let me show you what it looks like, the crust, what the sauce looks like. I 
I like the cheese, the cheese stretches, so the cheese is good too. Even though it's a cheese blend. I like just mozzarella, but... I don't know what's in there, like oregano? There's like one... I can definitely read what's in there. <laughs> I don't know where the ingredients are. Wow, there's a lot of ingredients. All right, so the, the sauce is tomatoes, seasoning, salt, sugar, dehydrated garlic, onion, spices. See, it says seasoning. Like, what is in the seasoning? Probably oregano. I mean, that's a common se seasoning. Basil's common in um, pizza. So it's like, it's dehydrated garlic and onion. Can't really taste those because um, cause it's like so mild. Garlic, once you cook the garlic, it's you can't really taste much. But... Yeah, no, can't really pick that out in there. I mean, that's a common ingredient for pizza sauce. <coughs> Excuse me. Garlic, onion. It says seasoning, so Italian seasoning is like oregano, basil. And what else? Hmm. I'll show you Italian seasoning. This is Italian seasoning. So what's in this? Parsley? Maybe. That's all I can think. So maybe it's oregano and basil. But the sauce is good. Everything's good on this pizza. There's no flaws in it. Besides, you know, the crust. I'm not, hand, not a fan of big crust. Unfortunately, I won't buy this again because it's like, I don't like the crust pizza. Like, I'm not going to eat all the crust because, like, the worst part about the pizza is the crust. Like, bread, carbs. That's not really good. Like, when I'm on a diet... The thing that I avoid is carbs. <laughs> and this is not helping me. Like, I've been gaining weight eating pizzas. But this is really good. I mean, all the grades are on point. So, okay. So, there's, like, no flaws in this. But just the one thing, my preference is I don't really like the thick crust pizza. That's just one of my preferences. The price is good. That's six bucks. I mean, the crust is even good too. If it was thin crust, this would definitely get a nine. But because it's not my preference, I want thinner crust. That's the only flaw I see in it, the thinner crust. So because of that, I'm going to give it eight out of ten. So if you enjoyed my videos, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'm out.